I'm going to talk to you about Taylor's bunions. Another name for that is a bunionette or a little bunion. So, the Taylor's bunion is a bump in the bone or a bump in your foot is probably all you see. So let's show you where that is with my quick rendition here of the foot. This is the fifth metatarsal bone. It connects to the midfoot and back of the foot down here, and up here it connects to the toes. There's number five and number four. So this is what we call the lateral or the outside of your foot by your little baby toe. Over here is where you see the bump. This is where it goes out. So what goes on with this? Well, at first you might think there's an enlarged bone out here. And that might be true to some extent, but typically the amount of bone that's enlarged is pretty little for the size bump you see sticking out. So what we have to look at is inside the foot. That's done with an x-ray. And in there, what we find is that these two bones are spread apart. And the more this bone spreads over this way, the more this sticks out, the more it goes out. What is the cause of this bump sticking out? Well, oftentimes the foot is unstable in the front, and that can be associated with a severe high arch foot, and more commonly, a very flexible foot that collapses too much, and it's when your foot collapses too much, it spreads out. This creates the wider foot in the front, and the bone is pressed on by the outside of the shoe. The pain can be present on the outside or slightly on the bottom in the same region. So what do we do with the Taylor's bunion? First of all, conservative measures. Certainly they can be tried and include getting the pressure off the outside of the foot. That's done by using pads that have a cutout in them and just alleviate the pressure on the side of the foot and it can be done by stretching the shoe out or getting a wider shoe in the toe box. An example of an athletic shoe that has a wide toe box is Altra, capital A-L-T-R-A, also has minimal to no heel in the back so you press on the front less. And then fourth, treating any mechanical instability in the foot such as the flexible flat foot through the use of prescriptive orthotics. After the conservative measures have been exhausted and pain persists, you may need to shift to considering surgery. Given that I explained to you that the problem is often a separation between bones, then surgery needs to bring this bone back this way. So if you're suffering from pain associated with the tearless bunion, come in. First step is to get some x-rays, examine the feet, and we'll help you design the best program to get you back on your feet.